I'm Erin Henley, professional makeup artist, and today I'm going to show you how to handle skin discoloration that can be caused when you're waxing your lip. So we have our above lip area right here, and sometimes, of course, when we wax, we have a little bit of redness, and sometimes it lingers past just a few hours. Also, when we go out into the sun, we do have a little darkness when we have pigment that's overcompensating for the skin top layer that was produced and removed off of our skin when waxing. So the best way to deal with this is to really just cover it up. Lightweight concealers work best for the skin and I'm going in with a brush and you can use a sponge or your fingers but brushes give a lightweight feel and we are working with a sensitive area. So we're really just going over this. Just moving in small strokes. And after this, this is a step to do before your foundation. So we're really just bringing lightness back to it. And then once we put our foundation over it, you'll find an all even all over even coverage will take place. And so now I'm just going in with my sponge and tapping out, thinning out the layers, just making it as seamless as possible. We don't want it to look like an obvious layer over it. We just want it to look like skin that's back to normal health. You can powder this and do another layer too if it's even more harsh. That's up to your discretion. I'm Erin Henley and I just showed you how to cure skin discoloration that is due to waxing the upper lip.